Well, like anybody who really has addiction in their family, it's not something you plan for. It's, it's, there's not books you necessarily read about it. Of course, when we realized that our son had entered into this, we were devastated. Every single morning for two years, bawling, crying, questioning, soul searching, you know, of course, all of the things that people go through who have loved ones who entered this space. We started looking at, well, what are the ways to, to help them? And certainly the church has programs and there's plenty of places that can really have a Christ-centered, a faith-based approach to helping people through addiction. But there really wasn't a system, a method. There wasn't places you could send people. And just like any other dad, I said, well, how do we fix this? How do we get better? And trying to find a place for my own son, I took a step back and said, is God calling me to do something different? So from the beginning, we have viewed Restore as not a numbers game, but one man at a time walking through a door having a divine appointment with God because God called him through the doors. This is my ninth treatment center. Um, so so I, I'm, I'm going to treatment centers, trying to get clean, and, and I'm doing really well in them. Every one I went to, I finished. Um, every one I went to, I, 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 you know, I, I did the course. I did what was asked of me. I did what I was supposed to do. Um, and I, I, I gave it, I, I felt that I gave it 100%. Um, and I would come out of these treatment centers and I, I would go right back to the same environment. The downfall of my addiction was, was, uh, it, was it was when I, when I got introduced to heroin. Yeah. I'd say that's when my addiction took a hard left. Um, and, uh, you know, before I, I could bounce back from, from this stuff pretty quickly, but, but the, when the heroin grabbed a hold of me, um, it, it put me down. Um, it, it, uh, it, 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 can, it completely took control of my life. I mean, it, whatever the heroin told me to do, it, when I needed to get high, I needed to get high right now, by any means necessary, I had to do that. I was introduced to my real father, my biological father, at a party. He introduced me to cocaine at 13 years old. I was smoking cocaine by 14. I became addicted to cocaine, started to rebel in my teen years. I was drinking alcohol, running with the wrong people. I remember my mom having a conversation with me after many years, and she said to me, where's my son? And I, re I remember that conversation that she had with me that day. And so out of, the, out of moments like that, it was like, look at yourself, you know, because I knew that wasn't me. That's when I started to want to change. In the entire continuum of care, where there's drug rehab places, there's detox places, there's outpatient, where is the biggest gap for the church to get involved? And we realized early on, it's long-term residential care, quite honestly, because there's not a lot of money in long-term residential care. So we decided we would start with men, who have the ability to work, and we designed a program around that. And as opposed to a lot of the other programs that focused on, well, how do we get funding? We took a step back and said, what's best for the men? Not how do we fund it or how do we pay for it, but what is the program that takes the man from a point of addiction to a point of freedom and really renewed life in Christ? As we uh, pulled onto the, the street and I could see Restore in the distance, I just, I. I said, there has to be a catch. Like the place is so beautiful. Mom, please turn around. This isn't right. Right away, as soon as I stepped in the front door, it was like nothing I've ever experienced. You, you feel the love. You're embraced. I, I was embraced. It's hard to describe. I often hear people at Restore say, this is a place safe to struggle. I came in looking for love. You know, I came in wanting something different. The Holy Spirit is in this place, and not only in this place, but in others, whether they are staff or volunteers. It's really remarkable and amazing and breathtaking. You get in scripture a little deeper and you, you get in um, a focus with each other, interaction with each other a little more. And the story starts being revealed. God begins to speak. You begin to hear 
and you start having that hope in that. You start believing. You start seeing change, not only in yourself, but in other people. Learning to have a relationship with God helps fill those wounds that I've had at other treatment centers. It's not just a place to fix a, a drug and alcohol problem, but to, to really get to the core and, and the root of the problem and um, more of a, a permanent fix, an everlasting fix, and that's through Jesus Christ.